So today's project is this Wheel Horse 3108, and what's wrong with it is I bought it last summer from a guy. He said the fuel pump didn't work on it, and I bought it, and I confirmed that it was the fuel pump. I replaced the fuel pump, and I got it running, and then it stalled out, and I checked it again, and the fuel pump wasn't working again and you can see that I kind of have it the hose fuel line off of it already just to confirm that it is the fuel pump and I'll show you right now So this fuel pump works, you should see fuel poke out of right there, but I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe there's more problems. Not turning over. Okay. Well, then let's figure that out. I checked the oil. It has oil in it. Oh, that's why. I bet you. Actually, the clutch has to be pressed. Oh, yeah, I'd say there's no fuel. So, well, that's the problem. It's not getting fuel. I'm gonna loosen this hose to show you that the fuel pump is getting if it's not, I'm going to feel stupid. Come on. This new uh, fuel pump is made of plastic, so definitely don't want to break it. I have the original one as well, so... Well, I can try to fix that, fix the original one as well. Maybe it's not getting fuel. 
Well. Let me see. Now, the last time I was working on it. Now I know what you're thinking. The fuel pump's there for a reason. And that's why I'm not getting fuel, because it's meant to, well, pump the fuel through the fuel line. But, last time I was working on it, it did have, the fuel did gravity feed to the pump. Well... That's not exactly supposed to look like that. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's flush the tank. Yeah, it's definitely... Definitely orange. It's not a good... Not a good color to be running on. Well, you see that fuel line. Not the greatest. I don't have fuel line on hand. Not at the moment. So, I'm going to be working with what I do have. Which is just about nothing. I really hope this doesn't break. Please don't break. Oh, maybe I should get something so I... Yeah, that, so it doesn't make a mess. Well, I got the rustiest container I could find. I don't think I'm going to be reusing this fuel. So, the rust inside the container should be fine. There. Just going to let that drip out. And then I'm going to take an air hose and I'm going to blow through this end of the fuel line to the front. It's not exactly bad fuel. It's just... It's not bad back here, but I'm concerned about the fuel line. What's inside of it? Well, while that's draining, I'm going to place that fuel line right there. There's a spider. I don't like spiders. Well, I know I have more fuel filters around here somewhere, because I bought, like, a hundred of them. Let me grab the air hose while I'm out over here. Now, because I bought these fuel line, um, the fuel filters, oh, oh, okay, it's leaking. Now, because I bought these fuel filters in bulk, uh, they're kind of cheapy ones. So, uh, they can break, and I have broken them before. So, I don't want to do that. Let me grab a pail. Something, anything. Oh yeah, that's nasty fuel. I just have a bucket down there. Now all that black stuff in it, that's actually oil. Um, there was a little bit of oil in this bucket, so that's not from the fuel. But that orange little bit, just at the around the rim, is um is fuel. And I'm 
sure that there's going to be more coming out of it. This was the problem. All I needed to do was just flush the system. So now, I wonder what that was. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to Blow air through one side to the other. Let's see what comes out. Actually, I'm gonna move. So now all I'm gonna do is just blow air through one side goes out the other, this kind of cleans out through the line. Okay. Nothing too interesting on that one. I guess it's relatively clean. I hope it is at least. Now I just got to do the same thing on this one. I don't want to cut this fuel line, that's what I, I might do that if this is going to pose a fight. Ah. Well, that's not the best looking fuel filter. Now, before I put the new one on, I'm just gonna fuck it right there. Pour it through a little bit. Now I'm going to blow air through the other side. Wherever the other side went. It's going to be a lot easier if you walk down that side. I can't see what's happening over there, so... All right, now I gotta let this finish draining, and I hope it didn't just start leaking up top right around that gasket, because I really don't want to replace that fitting. Well, I say that's drained enough to run it. And now I really hope that's not leaking. But if it is, I guess I'll have to replace it. Well. And if, don't worry, it wasn't dripping on the ground. I moved the bucket under there. 
let's see what we're dealing with in here. Yeah, not that great. I mean, the bucket itself isn't that great. But... Well, I mean, that's what came out of the carburetor side of it. But... Oh, well. Okay, so now I drained the fuel tank. Uh, cleaned the fuel tank out. Blew through the fuel lines, replaced the fuel filter, and uh, now I'm ready to see if it's gonna work better than well, how it has been working. Because it, well, hasn't been working. At first, I thought this fuel pump broke. And I really didn't want to believe that it did break because it's brand new. It's aftermarket, but it's brand new. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see, how can I see what's happening? Uh, okay, now I can see. That's still not working. However, I think it just needs to, the fuel needs to just go through the fuel line because there's, I mean, it's so long and it's such a small fuel filter, uh, fuel pump. But maybe it just can't do it where the fuel's at right now. Think of what else I can do instead of Let's see if this is gonna work. I hope it will. I really hope it does. Yeah, a little bit.
so there is fuel going through here. Okay. Used, uh, I just used a siphon to siphon the fuel through. Let's see if that won't fix it. Nope, that's not gonna fix it. Gasoline. Yep, my gasoline can is leaking. Fantastic. doesn't run anyways. Oh, there's a spider there. I don't like spiders. Let's try it again. The fuel pump just doesn't work. Oh, well. Duh, the fuel pump isn't hooked up, even if it did work. Okay. Should have said something. The lighting... Oh, jeez. The lighting is terrible in here. Uh, maybe that's the problem. Let's try this again. Only this time with the fuel line hooked up. Oh, well. Try this one more time. There we go. It runs. Well, it will run. If that fuel pump worked. Well, I'm just going to try to remove the fuel pump. I really don't want to buy a new one. 
well, it would only be my second fuel pump, so not too bad, I guess. But Oh no! Oh no! That's not good. That, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Look at this. Spin you around the other way. So. Here's the fuel pump, right? If you don't know what's missing, I'll show you. Here's one that should hopefully work, but this is the same exact one. See a difference? I do. That piece somehow snapped off and is now inside my engine. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that's useless. Hmm. I forget this this one the guy that I bought it from had on the machine and then he gave me and then he gave me the original fuel pump back and the original is this one right here so I got three different fuel pumps none of them which are focusing but three different fuel pumps not one of them works. And now one of the, um, like this entire piece is in the crankcase now. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. I mean, I kind of feel like I don't have to retrieve it i think it should be fine but i don't want to run the risk of it not being fine and then destroying this engine <laughs> oh dear okay well i'm done for today then ah uh, there you have it I need to go down into the crankcase. I can't go through that hole, unfortunately. I need to remove the engine, and then uh, remove the... I need to remove the oil pan. This, is this bottom piece right here from that. Maybe I should just buy a new machine. That would be nice. Alright then. As I said, I'm done. With this one for now. Until I gotta go remove the engine. To remove that part. On to the next project.